Okay, so <clears throat> here's a definition that creates points on a line, draws lines tangent to those points, and then rotates them and makes louvers from them. So here's the grasshopper definition. Here's the curve that I'm going to use. So this guy right here is selecting this interior curve. So it's been selected there. And what happens is it divides that curve. So if I preview the divide, you'll see that you get a bunch of points on that. And it divides it based on this number, right? So right now we've got 69. And then it comes in and gets, creates lines. So if I preview these, zoom in, you'll see that there are lines being drawn along between these two lines. The distance is controlled by the selection of the index, the first index, which gives us the distance between these two points. So this is just selecting that index, giving us that item, and putting it into the length. So the length of the louver equals the distance between the two points. And then what happens is those can get rotated. So this is a simple rotate with zero. So if I preview that, nothing will change. But if I change that, you'll see those lines rotate. So we can get the lines rotating along those. So that's a simple rotation. And if we leave it at that, come down here, we can then extrude vertically. So if we look at that in perspective, it's extruding those lines vertically. Right, and that rotation, if I change the rotation, those will rotate equally. Now what you wanted to do was rotate where they would be open and closed, create a different permeability, because if you're perpendicular to these, you see through them at 90, right? That would be a complete, perfect, you know, except for the distance, the width of the louver, which is zero right now, but just for testing. Now, if we want to, what we can do is we can extract rotation values from an image. So that's what this does. It creates a domain between 0 at the start and 69 at the end, which is controlled by the count of the divided line. It goes through and takes a point and samples this image. So wherever it's black, it's going to be 0, and wherever it's pure white, it's going to be 1, and anywhere in between, 0 and 1 will be the gray factor. So that spits out this amount here, right? And then we can take that, run it through some various multiplications, so at 90, and then if we take that result, and put it into the angle, right? You're going to get closed at the beginning because that's zero, right? And then as you get further towards the middle, that'll be more open, and then it will close at the end if you're perpendicular to it. So that allows us to go in, and if we want to, we can change this image, right? So that one goes from black. If we look at it, it goes from black to white to black, but we could also go from white to black, so it would be open, closed, open, and now you see that change, right? So you can control that rotation and permeability of that wall depending on this guy. Um, you could also change the starting rotation, right, to make it more open or closed, um, depending on how you want to do that. So that's the basic setup for this guy. Um, and then later on, we'll look at how you can do that in Revit.